Hey, so this is the Stefan Curry experiment. I want to see if Stefan Curry can do well amongst 80s and 90s teams when they're more hard-nosed, played tougher defense, didn't shoot the three as much, that kind of thing. I basically, I placed him on the 90 and 91 Warriors. They got Mullen, Richmond, Hardaway, Marshall Lunas, Tyrone Hill, Tom Tolbert, Rod Higgins, Alton Lister, for the most part. He's leading his team right now. It's the last game of the regular season. I just did one one year season mode, so there's no rookies in the game. Well, there weren't any rookies anyway, because I picked uh, a lot of these yearly teams, like the 90, 91 Warriors, for example. Um, and so basically there's no rookies in the game, or in the, in the league, there's no there's no most improved player because there's only a season mode, so it's only one year. Uh, got these uh, fake generic players down here and getting any minutes, thank God. But yeah, I want to see how Stephen Curry will do amongst all these other teams, such as Trailblazers, the Timberwolves. I mean, I tried to do all 80s and 90s, but. There weren't any 90s or 80s Timberwolves, obviously. Uh, tried to get uh, some, I got some 70s teams in there, a 60s team. Got the Supersonics with Peyton and Kemp. This, the 04 05 Suns. I know they're not like a hard nosed defensive team, obviously, but you know, they were the best Suns team. I think the only Suns team they had in this game. Then you got the 90 78 Spurs. Tim Duncan was a second year player or third year player there uh, with Robinson in 97 98. You got the champion Rockets here with Akeem, the Dream, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady when he was young. You got the Bad Boy Pistons with Isaiah, Dumars, Mark Aguirre. Benny Johnson, I don't know how they, they signed Nick Young, which I, I should have made all the teams under my control, but they signed Nick Young out of free agency, which makes absolutely no sense, but it is what it is. You got Bill Ambeer, Dennis Rodman. It's kind of sad that he's doing better than these two. Rick Mahorn, John Sally, I love that team from the, the late 80s. But the 0304 Pistons were were in the 80s or 90s, but they were one of the best defensive teams and one of the best teams that had no superstars, but yet they gelled really well together and they did really well. They signed Manu Ginobili, 41-year-old Manu Ginobili, which makes it kind of odd. And they got Adrian Payne. I don't know why they're signing guys like him. But, uh, yeah, so... Then we got the 93-94 Nuggets with Mahmoud Abdul Rahouf. Um, you don't see Matumbo here because he doesn't score much. He's only scoring seven, almost seven points a game. And you got the 0102 Nets. They didn't have a better Nets team from the 80s or 90s. I mean, this was their peak. You got Jason Kidley in the team. Keith Van Horn, Kenny Martin, Kerry Kittles. Yeah, I'm definitely going to change it for next year. There might be a part two because I'm going to take control of the team so they don't sign free agents. I forgot to do that. You got the 02 03 Mavericks with Dirk, Steve Nash, or young Steve Nash, Michael Finley, Sean Bradley. You got the 94-95 Magic with Shaq, then Penny, then Scott, Nick Anderson. You got the Showtime Lakers with Magic, Kareem, James Worthy, Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, Michael Thompson. That's um, Clay Thompson's dad, AC Green. And they're just signing random players. I can't stand this. It's not really. It just taints the team to me. Then you got the 70-71 Lakers. Who lost to my Knicks in the in the championship, I believe. It might have been the other year, I forget, but the end is anyway, you got Jerry West, his logo, Gail Goodrich, Chamberlain, 
Elgin Baylor. I mean, these are guys, these are epic guys, legendary guys. You got the probably the, one of the greatest teams of all time, the 2001 Lakers with Kobe, Shaq. They had Isaiah Ryder on the team, Derek Fisher. They had Horace Grant, Robert Ory, Rick Fox. They had Ron Harper. I forgot about him. Mark Madsen, Brian Shaw, a really old Brian Shaw. Tyron Liu, of course. Devin George. The 94-95 Knicks, probably one of my favorite teams of all time because I grew up as a Knicks fan. And this is the team right here that got me into basketball and this is probably one of the most exciting teams or core of teams you got with Patrick Ewing, John Starks, UB Davis, or Hubert Davis, whatever we call him, Derek Harper, Charles Smith, Charles Oakley, Greg Anthony, Charlie Ward, they signed Richard Jefferson and I'm really old so it makes no sense, Doug Christie, Anthony Bonner, Monty Williams, Herb Williams, and then all the fake players just to fill the rosters out. You got the 0102 Kings. Ironically, they are leading the, the conference right now. They're taking over. And it's kind of funny because they were so such a controversial playoff series between them and the Lakers back then. So if they won it all, it'll be redemption for the Kings. You got Peja, Chris Weber, Mike Bibby, Bobby Jackson, Flade Tivok, Doug Christie. Scott Pollard, Gerald Wallace, Chucky Brown, and then, yeah. You got uh, the Jazz, obviously you got Carl the Mailman Malone, John Stockton, Jeff Hornacek, Bill Russell, or Byron Russell, sorry. And then those are the four guys, the core guys. You got the Hornets from the early 90s with Larry Johnson, Al Al Alonzo Mourning, Del Curry, Kendall Gill. Ironically, Al Jefferson is an, Al Jefferson's been a Hornet, and they signed him. Muggsy Bogues, Johnny Newman, David Wingate. Wow, these players. Just hearing these names takes me back. You got the late '90s Heat that were always clashing with the Knicks. Uh, you got Tim Hardaway on there, Alonzo, James, uh, Jamal Mashburn, P.J. Brown, Dan Marley. Isaac Austin, I mean, these, wow. And they're, I think they're leading their conference too right now. I'll have to double check. And you got the Hawks from the 80s, but obviously Dominique Wilkins, Spud Webb, Kevin Wallace, Randy Whitman, who's a coach now or used to be a coach, Doc Rivers, John Conkak, who signed that huge mammoth contract back in the day, even though he was like a second or third string center. I don't know how he pulled that off. 0506 Grizzlies. You got Casal, Bobby Jackson, Eddie Jones, Battier, Damon Stoudemire. 85 86 Celtics. Larry Bird, of course. Dennis Johnson, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Danny Ainge, Bill Walton. That's the only significant players. You got the Cavs of the. Late nine or late eighties, they couldn't beat the Bulls. Poor guys, Mike Price, Larry Nance, John Hot Rod Williams, who was leading the six man of the year category right now, surprisingly. Brad Doherty, they signed Zach Randall, Craig Elo, Steve Kerr. Eighty five, eighty six Bulls. I figured I'd throw him in there too. A young, really young Jordan. He was only in his fourth season here. Well, corner of the game. I think it's only his third season, second season, I forget. Um, young Jordan, still s scoring 30 a game. You got George, Ger the Iceman Gervin, in his heyday. Sidney Green. You got all these other players that uh, Jordan played with. Charles Oakley when he was on the Bulls. John Paxson, who was always pretty much there until the first time he retired. The Bucks with Kareem Abdul, freaking Jabbar, 771 Bucks. What a team with the big O, too. And you got some other good players. They just signed a lot. I don't know. It's definitely going to be better next year when I don't have these 
didn't sign these random free agents. You got the answer, Allen Iverson, on the um, 2001 76ers. And we know all we all know that team. Uh, also got Dr. J, you couldn't leave him out. We also got some pretty notable players in George McGinnis, Will Be Free, Doug Collins, Henry Bibby. And then we're back to our team with the Warriors, Stephen Curry, Mullen, Richmond, and Hardaway leading the way. All right, playoff picture. The Kings are leading, as I said. Uh, you got the Lakers from the Showtime Lakers, second. Suns, Blazers, Lakers. Wow, this is gonna be interesting playoffs. In the East, yep, the Heat's leading the team, leading the conference. Bucks, Celtics, Nets. Wow, Magic, Cavs, Hornets, and the 76ers. No Bulls on any. No Bulls. Wow, no Bulls teams. I mean, wow. I just can't. I'm just. Wow, I'm just flabbergasted right now. I mean, I put in. I only, I guess I only put in, I thought I put in 92, 93. I thought I put in the 95, 96 Bulls, but I guess I put in the 85, 86 Bulls by accident. That's kind of funny. Well, that makes sense then. So I'll fix that for next time. Team Intel, we are contending. Just some lineups. This is the bench. They don't have much. They don't have many players down low. It's mainly all guard play, along with Mullen. So I don't know how they can compete in the playoffs with guys like Shaq and Akeem and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I just don't know. I, I just don't think they're gonna win it all, unless Curry just goes off for like 80 a game. I don't know. MVP races. Uh, Magic is leading the way with Akeem, AI, Shaq, and Bibi Bigo. No rookie of the year, six men. Hot Rod Williams leading the way. Aaron McKee, Tim Hardaway on our team. Spud and Robert Pack. Wow. Kevin Garnett, the big ticket, KG. Wow, leading the defense. Ben Wallace, I mean, he's always been a defensive guy. I think a three-time Defensive Player of the Year winner. Keem the Dream, the Mutombo, and Michael, young Michael Jordan. No one most improved. And let's go on. Let's just see the season awards real quick. I'll just scroll through this. Stephen Curry won it, I believe, only once all year. Player of the Week, Player of the Month. He didn't win any Player of the Months. No Rookie of the Months, obviously. All-star teams, you can take a quick look at the all-star teams if you care. Stephen Curry started on Team Larry, Larry Bird versus Keem, Akeem, and Akeem destroyed Team Larry. I believe that Shaq on Team Akeem is the 2001 Shaq, and then the one on the right on the Team Larry is the Magic, Orlando Magic Shaq. All right, let's go into this last game. I'm going to simulate it. All right, so Hakeem the Dream wins the MVP. Wow, over 31 points, 16 rebounds, 3.5 blocks, 1.5 steals, 2 assists, over 530 in field goal percentage. Wow. John Hot Rod Williams, 6th man of the year. Kevin Garnett wins defensive player. And most improved, nice. I didn't even know they were going to have any Mr. Improved. They didn't have it there. Interesting. Coach of the Year is from the Heat, although they don't use their real coaches. Uh, for all NBA first team, you got AI, Magic, KG, Carl, and Hakeem. Here's the second team. Stephen Curry made the third team. Interesting, all defensive first team. We know Stephen Curry is not going to be any of these. Here's the playoffs. So 
So it looks like we are taking on the Portland Trailblazers first with the three seed. One seed is the Kings. Second seed is the Showtime Lakers. Fourth seed is the 2001 Lakers. This is going to be tough because it's loaded. Somehow the late 90s Heat are the one seed. Yeah, the Heat, the East is definitely not going to win. I don't, I can't see them winning this all. I'm going to sim all the games up until I'll do a sim cast for the any uh, clinching games, elimination games, and if it's close, I'll go into it. So here we go. I just got a okay. Got to sim game one. Okay, so we win game one with Curry. Okay, one one. Two one uh oh. Two two. Oh wow, they got eliminated. That's insane. That's crazy. And I did the five game format. Just because it was mostly Asian, Asian 90, so I figured why not go back. All right, so we'll send the rest, and we'll see who wins this. That's gonna be really great if, and then wow, and I just noticed the 2001 Lakers got knocked off by the freaking Suns. I don't think that would ever happen in real life. Wow, look at the Kings. I'm rooting for the Kings now. I mean, they got shafted back then, so that'd be pretty cool to see them win it all. This is the conference finals. Oh no, they're going down 3 0. Oh no. Blazers. Wow, the Blazers and the Celtics. Let's see, game one. The pros of the Blazers. Damn. Alright, I'll do the sim cast. Now oh, it looks like the Blazers are going to take this. Wow, I never saw this coming at all. I swear, freaking 2K is so random. They have like the craziest logic sometimes. I mean, at least it's interesting, but it's hardly realistic. That's why I gotta do this three times. Watch the last two minutes. Check it out, why not? Okay, I feel good for Glide. Glide that Glide Drexler winning his first title ever <laughs> in 2K, but I know it doesn't count, but still. At least he won something. To a different camera. And really, these are some of the tough. Oh, come on. Jerome Chris has checked in for Clyde Drexler. Just watch a slow death for the Celtics. Kevin McHale out there with Bird. And it's these Celtics haters would be loving this. Now here's Bird. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Court looks so realistic from back in the day. It's tipped. Dishes it to Johnson. Four on the clock. From deep. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is kept down to 11 on the bucket from Bird. 
Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Now, here's Porter. Here's Petrovic to the wing right side. Jason Petrovic. God rest, rest in peace, man. Now Duckworth. And that one is off. Excellent D there from Parrish. 112 left in the game. Bird against Kirsten. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Larry Bird, man, he's still trying. They don't want to get swept. against Porter. He kicks it to Duckworth. Pocket six. Shoots over Parrish. From 16 wow. feet away, he cans it. Duckworth's Making got the lead up Parrish look like a high school player. 43 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Johnson against Porter. Third left side. Over Robinson. Terry Porter comes up with the rebound. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Petrovic with the pass to Kersey. Good D by Ainge. And with the time remaining, I'm just not seeing it. Well, you know they like to have some plays back, especially a couple of those stupid ones from earlier. But I'll tell you what, they're dull on for this. <laughs> Bird never ceases to amaze. His ability to score with a hand in his face, sometimes against multiple defenders, really a test there we go. of his focus and his talent. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. I did lie. You can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. I'm sure Clyde's going to be MVP. Yep. As predicted. course 20 points uh, 21 and almost 22 points a game six and a half assists two steals shooting three four four forty four from three not bad all right let's check out the playoff stats real quick Hakeem was leading the team, uh, leading the league in, sc in scoring. Kobe, Shaq, Peja, wow, Peja. Steve Nash, Larry Bird, Tim Hardaway of the Heat, Magic Johnson, Kareem. Steph Curry was 10th in scoring. But 10th ain't going to do it, man. You got to only score in 24 a game. I mean, you ain't going to compete with the big boys doing that. Rebound, offensive rebounds, Shaq from the Hope on Lakers, Kareem, defensive rebounds, rebounds, Kareem, assists, Magic, steals, Hakeem, 
Black, Sakim, Turnovers, Moxie Bros. Let's check the three point. Two points made was Peja. Korea was third. Points is uh, three pointers attempted. Korea was second to Peja. And three pointer percentage. And where's Curry? They must have been blanking them. He's not even barely there. Let's see who led the team. Steph Curry with 24 a game. Hardaway. Mullen. Richmond. Alright, well there you go. That's the Steph Curry experiment part one. I mean, they didn't... They really failed expectations. I mean, the three seed, and they got knocked out in five games by the eventual champions. So at least that doesn't make them look bad, as bad. But I don't know. I think they could have beaten the the Kings. And yeah, that's that's rough. I think they could have beaten the Kings eventually. I don't know about the Showtime Lakers, but. We'll see what happens in the next experiment. See ya.